Hey, oh, so you're busy. Uh, just getting your breakfast ready. Well, I'll see you later. Have a good day. No, I just said your breakfast is ready. I'll skip it. Why? Personal reasons. Daddy. Dad, good morning, Dad. How are you, my darling daughter? I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't sorry. seem fine, sweetheart. Is anything the matter? No, Dad, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. Well, so if you insist. No, Dad, I'm, I'm fine. What is going on since you got married? You are yet to be pregnant. I'm worried even your mother is worried too. Dad, I've told you before, we're still waiting on God. And... God will do it at the right time. Please, my darling, try harder with your husband to give me a, a grandchild. Hmm? Okay, I've heard you. And how is mom? Is she back? No. I will travel by weekend hence. There is no point um, having her back. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, I will also give her a call to and my regards to her when you speak with her. And I will ensure I see you before you leave. All right. All right, bye, Dad. Different meals in the fridge. 
because I needed noodles. Are you sure? <laughs> Have I ever lied to you before? Don't know. Good. So, I can't start now. Right, so you just go to the dining. I'll be with you in a bit. Hmm? I mean, that's why they call it ten minutes instead of a bit. Don't worry, I'll see you in a bit. Hmm? Hmm. I'm okay. just uh, I'm changing to something different. Yeah, you do that now. See you in a bit. Fantastic cook. <laughs> Thank you. Last time I did any cooking was back in school. My siblings did all the cooking until I met uh, Rosalind. Hmm. Mm. Thank God for a day like today, man. At least I've discovered something new about my husband. He's a fantastic cook. I see. So you just discovered something new about your husband? Yeah. I mean, it's almost impossible for a couple to completely know each other. Hello. Oh. Mm. Your new thing. Hmm. Keep it on. But why are you doing this? What? We agreed that to stop taking protection. But still, you continue using it even up until now. I don't understand what you're talking about, did I? <laughs> Another play acting. Nice. We'll talk about this all the time. This fell out of your brush. Oh. My dad said he'll be traveling over the weekend. He'll be traveling out. Did you tell him that you're the cause of our childlessness? No, we didn't discuss that. So leave him bother asking. Then why did he call me today asking me about the same? He did? Yes, he did. And I was in my friend's house for the naming ceremony of their second child in a three year period. The same period for which we have been in this odious relationship. Babe, I will find a solution. Mm. Yes, I will. Okay, answer some of this. Why have you been using prevention against pregnancy? All this while, why? Wait, please, please, please. Uh, some things are better left unsaid, really.
Bobby. Hey, what's in your hand? Food. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? But I made food. Well, this was what my appetite wanted. And I had to satisfy it. Wait, but do you remember the last time you ate a meal I prepared? You're gradually turning into a bachelor, better still, a student. A student? Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me. What, what differentiates me from a student? No, no, I mean, how am I different from a student? As a matter of fact, I think students are even better off. Oh. Yes, because at least every once in a while their girlfriends get pregnant and give them children. But look at me. Take a look, take a look at me. But you know what? I'm done with this. I, I just need to fix this best issues. I'm tired. Good. Do that. And when you find an answer or a solution, let me know. In the meantime, I need my space. And my peace. Hi, Sunita. How is it going? Babe, it's getting worse, so... Do you know that as I speak with you now, my husband doesn't eat my food anymore. Happiness is far from my home. Look, I can't bear it anymore, Chris. I just can't bear it anymore. I can't keep convincing this babe now. For what? For what now? Look, she must have her reasons for doing this. Very selfish reasons for that matter. I can understand. Her decision remains inexplicable to me. Your family needs protection. Our advice that you speak to her, and if she insists, then I think we should rethink. Look, I can't keep talking to her. I can't keep talking to her, and even them, I don't want them to. Look, I'm just. Wow, wow, wow. But um, I thought you already made your intentions known to him. No, and that's why he's been fighting so hard. He's even threatened to call my family members to report the issue and all that. Eh? He's been upset ever since he saw that pills, my posting or two. He's been very not happy. Um, I thought you said you already accepted to let you be. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I just told him to give me time to sort things. Calm down, calm down, my guy. You said you love your wife and you want to cheat on her. Chris. This is not a trivial matter, okay? So, 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 so stop trivializing things. You know what? We need to hang out and talk about this. In fact, we really need to discuss this. I'm, I'm even coming right away. I'm coming. I'm coming. Listen, don't worry. Why you come here? Let's talk. Let's talk this through, okay? Eh, uh -huh. ah, you're talking. Eh, yeah? I, I, I'll see you soon, bro. Eh? Amen. Dude, so sorry for keeping you waiting. No, I know I love her. What did I get you to drink? <sighs> Look, bro, my, my head is just not in that place right now. <sighs> well, listen, there is no problem known to man that hasn't been solved before. Your situation is no different. Uh, bro, you know what? Uh, what do you say we just talk first and drink later? I understand. Yes. All right. Okay. First question. Mm. Do you think Fiona has been unreasonable? Unreasonable? Mm. Nah, I, I, I don't think so. You know, Fiona is, has always been a sweet person and all that unreasonable. I, I don't think she's... All right, listen. Let's run down the problem here, okay? First, you were worried that she was able to conceive, right? Then you find out that she's on the pill to get, prevent herself from getting pregnant, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, 
before she said uh, she, 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 was, she was taking it because she wasn't ready to get pregnant then. But dude, it's been three years. Three years now. I mean, pff, if she's not ready to get pregnant now, then when does she want to get pregnant? I mean, especially with the pressure from, 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 from her, her parents and, and, and my siblings. And Look, this is why I'm thinking of opening up to her parents. So how are you doing? I'm good. Mm. I really see you guys really counting the days. <laughs> um, my darling, you know, my husband can't even wait for the arrival of the baby. <laughs> I'm super happy for you. Thank you so much. Uh, um, let's go to the reason why you are here. Very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. Good. Because this has lingered long enough. What if her parents can't change her mind because she has a genuine reason? Then what will you do? I don't know. Bro, see, th 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 this is why I need your help, man. No, as in, like, you have to just help me prefer some solution or something, man. I, 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 I don't know what... All right, all right. This, this is where I bought in, I guess. I will have a chat with her and then hopefully she will see reason and understand why this is very important to you. Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. And cheer up. Oh, for you. <laughs> ah, man, this is. Ah, I was. Ah. He'll give me a heart attack. And uh, cheer up, cheer up. Oh, it's oh all boy. Right. As in my. Ah. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. Do I get you that something to drink now? You know what this means, right? Oh. As in, bring it on. <laughs> on a spiritual level. <laughs> to be candid with you, darling, there is nothing as sweet as carrying your own baby. You know, it is the joy of every woman. You know I'll never get tired of reminding you that. No, it's fine. I, I know how much you care about me and my family and everything. Mm. Babe, I know you don't love me. I know you don't care about me. Because if you do, you understand that this pregnancy thing, it's an individual thing. Of course I know. But babe, listen, it's not just about being pregnant or giving birth. It's more than that. I cannot just be in public. Bring out my breast in public to be feeding one child. And the child now vomit on top of my body, one irritating thing. I, I can't do it. I can't, babe. <laughs> really? I, I can't. You know, I can see that you are still totally unreasonable. You've said that over a thousand times and, and, and I'm getting used to it already. Another reason why I can't do it is because of my shape. Wait. <clears throat> my shape. I can't. My shape. Wait. Lose it. Because of it. Stupid child bearing. I can't. Um, can you tell me something different from what you've always said? I've said that before and I'll keep it. Okay, let's just, let just be a form of reminder to you. If I ever lose my shape mm -hmm. or my breast sag, you see my husband, eh? The same husband. He'll go and look for a younger girl with pointed breasts, flat tummy, hips. Then he will dump me. You know, men are controlled by what they see. They're not controlled by their emotions, so. Um, Fiona. Fiona. What? When are you going to come out of this darkness you called perspective? Never. Besides, it is even unreasonable for a married woman to monitor her husband. Eh? Yes! Especially when you are being cared for. Babe, allow, I will monitor my husband. Just allow me. Mm. Yes, I will monitor him. It's fine. Eh. Sorry, mm. Miss Nigeria. Thank you. Sorry, eh? Mm. I don't know what else you want to. Sorry. <laughs> Babe, see, let me tell you something. Eh? If a woman who tries to monitor the fidelity of her husband is being tagged as unreasonable. Mm. Hello? Eh? <laughs> Leave it like that. I am very unreasonable. As so long as he doesn't cheat on me. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, dear friend? Mm. I must inform you. Man has the power to make decisions. Mm -hmm. Lecturer. Mm. But nature has the power to decide the consequences of man's decision. Hmm. Lecturer. Hence, should this cranky decision of yours jeopardize your marriage, it is on you and you alone. Babe, no, it's fine. It's okay. Mm. I will never ever involve you. In fact, if I call you, do not listen to me. I won't. No, 
don't, don't, don't listen to me. I mean, it's very okay. It's my decision, so it's okay. <sighs> Are you ready to do what I asked you over the phone, Joe? Mm. Um, um, I, I will, since that's what you want. I'll let you know when I find a good one. So how long are we going to wait for? Huh? I said, how long are we waiting for? How long are you, you, not we? All man for himself. You, not we. Please. Emma, <laughs> Emma, you know what? I need to go home. Mm -hmm. home. Hey, good afternoon. How are you, my darling? I am fine. Uh, how are you? And your family, how are they? I hope you hear from them from time to time. Yes, I spoke to them yesterday and they confirmed that Luxembourg is doing them just fine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, beautiful. Oh, that's so good. But it's been longer I've heard from you, or it's been long you paid us a visit. I hope there's no problem at all. And I keep asking your friend of you all the time. You know the way he behaves now, especially since... Since what happened? Nothing, nothing. Just a uh, slip of tongue. Nothing, nothing really. Is there something you want to tell me? No, nothing. Or is there something you know that you want to tell me? Mm, I'm not sure he told me anything. Okay. What do you know? What do you want to tell me? What's your schedule for the weekend? This weekend, uh, nothing. I'm not doing anything serious. Except if your friend has um, plans for me. But... I guess I'm free, yeah. Then let's meet this weekend. Okay. All right, this weekend. It is. All right, yeah. Sure. Bye, yeah. All right. Bye now. Perhaps Gibson is too in love with you and he cannot really express himself. Okay. But he wants a child. Okay? However you do, it doesn't matter. Just give him a child. You are his wife. So what are you now? His mouthpiece? Since when did you start speaking for him? Since when I became his best friend way back in secondary school. You must have been a child then. You know, I'll, I'll take that as a compliment and not an insult because of the respect I have for you. Well, I will advise you to stay away from everything that concerns my family. Hmm? May I remind you that what God has joined together, <laughs> let no man put us Well, this family in question happens to be my family, okay? And that doesn't count, especially when you make a decision like this. You know, you're beginning to make me feel that you're the problem in my family. And, um, hmm, that's not... Alright, look, Fiona. I don't care what you think, okay? We can't continue to beg you. Do your duty as a wife. Give my friend a child. Obviously, end of discussion. You know what? I regret coming here in the first place. This discussion is over. is something else, you know. She even accused me of being the instigator on your marriage. She must be out of her mind. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. I warned you about this girl. If you, if you had to remarry, remarry somebody more mature, somebody who can, you can build a home with. But oh no, you won't listen to me. Now see where we are now, in the middle of nowhere. What did she say? And where do we go from here? Let's see tomorrow we'll talk about it. What's all this 
rubbish now. Eh? Babe, look, it was never an advice, and I'm not paying attention to that. Just look for the girl and tell me what it will cost me. The last persons to pick a fight with are your husband's friends, especially best friend. Any day you start contemplating on such idea, it's the same day divorce will start hovering around your marriage. Please make friends with them instead. I should make friends with who? When it's, it's obvious it's a problem in my marriage. I will educate you more on that when we see. Mm. But please don't pick a fight with your husband's best friend. I hear you, babe. Just look for the girl and let me know, okay? Just look for the girl and let me know, please. I beg. Fiona. Let me call you back. Why did you go and accuse my friend of something that he knew nothing about? Please, I didn't actually accuse your friend of anything. I only told him to stay away from my home. He should understand that this one belongs to you, me, excluding him. Hey, what makes you think that Chris does not belong to this family? He has been a part of my success story for the past 15 years. I beg, I'm not interested in that story, I beg. Now listen to me. Fathers, mothers, uncles, aunties, sisters, brothers always have reason to separate at one point in time or the other. But only on rare occasions. Now you have 48 hours to apologize to me. Come and drag me now. Come and drag me. And make sure you be the one to speak for me because you have my mouth. But it has apologized to shit. Look, man, I, I'm really sorry about the harsh words that Fiona used with you. I mean, just forgive her, please. No, I didn't take her insults to heart. It's you I blame. It's your fault because, I mean, this is guy, guy now, guy. Ah. Oh, that one is in the past now. Ah, see, eh? my own major concern right now, do you understand what I'm saying? Is how Fiona is going to bear me children. I need Get a child. another wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a wife, and this time a mature one, one that will build a home with you. Your first mistake was divorcing Rosalind. The next, marrying. Give me 48 hours to apologize to Chris. Oh. Have you complied? I, I don't understand. Apologize? Of course not. I won't do it. Exactly my point. You are stubborn with everything. And very soon, your husband will start thinking I am supporting you. Forgetting the fact that I am pregnant with my tall child in four years. Babe, my husband is not like that. Mm. He will never believe a thing like that. Mm? Uh, you know, situations we let people start thinking out of normal. Mm. Myself and my husband will settle this out dispute, so it's fine. Okay? Mm. So what's up? What's going on? Um, actually, I found one and I think she's ready to do business with you. Because I love her emotionless nature. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wait, she went do I meet her? It's left to you. It left to me. I, tomorrow is fine by me. Okay then. No problem. Tomorrow. Okay, so where are we now going to meet her? In your office? Mm, at the store. Wait, call her now. Call her right now. I will, I will. Don't worry. What's her name? Is she here? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> good afternoon. Yeah, yeah, what is good about the afternoon? No, what, what is good about this afternoon? Eh? No, tell me. See, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. There's an adage that says, 
Show me your friend and I will tell you the kind of person that you are. There's another one that says birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> Actually, I am not... Hey, I'm still speaking. See, how does it give you joy? No, as in what pleasure or satisfaction do you derive from the fact that you give birth almost every year in your four years of marriage? And you are meticulously building a home with your husband. Whereas, look at this one. Here she is, your so-called friend. Hmm? With her odious and horrible disposition towards childbearing. And you refuse to talk to her. Eh? Sir, actually, I was still talking to her about the same thing before you came in. Uh -huh. Because there is no responsible woman who will make such decision. Okay. And you know Fiona for hey, Babe, babe, why are you even harassing my friend? What is this? Eh? Hey, hey. Harassing? You are harassing my friend. I'm harassing your friend, have you? <laughs> it's okay. It's alright. Onare. Onare. If you don't know the meaning of that, look for an Ijebu man or woman to translate it for you. Onare Edie Shuketo. You hear me? Which means, he did your body far away to shit. He went no peace. He did your body. He did your body. He did follow you go. Onare. <coughs> me have said my, me have harassing your friend. It's all right. It's okay. I say harasser. If that's how they do it to your village, you just come and be harassing someone's friend. Is that how they do it? What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, Jerry. Let's continue. He is always dramatic. So sorry. Was always... Did you just say you are sorry? Do you know I have never seen Gibson this mad before? I think I think Are you going to? I'm going to my house. Babe, please sit down. Please. My husband is dramatic. Oh, eh? Darling, I'll talk to you later. Ah, I beg. Sunita. Mm -hmm. talking about her life experience here. You know, I mean, she is at that experimental age. She's at a stage where she believes she can handle life's affairs. She can handle life's affairs at 28. I know. I know. But, bro, she hasn't made enough mistakes in her life. She hasn't tried and tested decisions and, and, and things to shape her life. She hasn't made decisions that has actually tested her, tried her. Come on, man. It's, that's why young marriages fail. Because they're just trying to figure it out as they go along. You, you don't want to put yourself in that kind of position. Chris. Mm. See. I don't know exactly where you're going with this. But I don't want to repeat the same mistakes I made marrying Rosalind at 32. What is that going to do? Look, because her, her child's marriage was no doubt caused by whatever it is you must have done with her body when she was younger. Do look, marrying Fiona younger will guarantee that we'll have children. Especially since she hasn't done much. <laughs> Nobody knows why Rosalind couldn't have the children, why she couldn't conceive for you. Especially when the doctor couldn't prove anything. Listen, marrying this girl.
why did I marry you? Because we love you. We love you too. We both love each other. <laughs> I remember telling you that I was married. But did I tell you why I got divorced? So do you want to tell me? Barrenness. That's why. Now I loved Rosalind so much. As a matter of fact, she was a part of my success story. But for eight years that we were married. Eight years. Not once did she either conceive or even miscarry. And that was why I had to divorce her. Do you, do you want to divorce me now? No. Because I vowed never again to divorce. Why do you think I married you younger? And then you had to go and take this your killing decision. Would you have decided to let go of? Is this just the thing? The time you understand. You are just a little tired. You're not even bold enough to defend what you claim to be. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting to do this for me. I just hope it will work. Mm, I hope so too. Um, I'll be waiting for your call. No problem. Mm. I'll be on my way now. Thank you, my dear. I'll see you soon, Esther. Alright. Thank, right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Sure this thing will work. Abba, come on, trust me. Can you sure she can do it? Of course. You know, baby, I was I was thinking of something and I said I was gonna discuss it with you. I don't know what uh, your opinion will be about it. Okay, I'm listening. Mm. Well, I'm thinking that in light of our peculiar situation, maybe we should consider adoption. Adoption? Yes, no. Okay. So adopt a child. Okay, that, that's still not bad. Okay. So a, a child of how old are we looking at? Uh, I'm thinking maybe between one to four months. Never. So that you can... Never. One to four months. Uh. If I cannot say one to four months old baby, why can't I just give birth to the baby myself? Uh. What, what are you talking about now? I'm thinking if you adopt one to four months, you can not see him as see, a mother. See, let me just even tell you the reason why I don't want to even have babies at all, Seth. Eh? I actually think it's a dirty business. And, and I don't want to ever lose my shape. I want to keep my shape for you. Wait. Childbearing is a de that childbirth is a dirty business. And because you want to keep shape. Wait. Are you telling me this is the reason why you have refused to, 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 to bear a child all these all these years? Sensible reason that you don't want to lose your shape? That's why you refuse to bear children for your husband? See what I do, I don't want to tell you in the first place. So I've been keeping it to myself all these years. Fiona. We need psychiatric evaluation. Childbearing, a dirty business. He doesn't want to lose that shape. <laughs> that is the joke of the year. What about her breasts? <laughs> oh, yes. She said she doesn't want her breasts to fall. She added that one this morning. 
Are you laughing at my predicament? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm laughing at your stubbornness. I told you, this girl will use your head, but you won't listen. Now that she's saying her birth, <laughs> it's dirty business. It's your life. <laughs> I can't ever remember hearing any woman say such a thing. <laughs> ever. So many women have come up with copious decisions. But come on, I have never heard anyone refer to childbearing as dirty business. Well, there's always a first time. <laughs> And my wife is the very first one you will know. Man, divorce her. Mm. If you could leave Rosalind, then you certainly can leave Fiona. No, man. Look, I don't, I don't need another divorce, I beg. I don't. <laughs> you will not impregnate another girl. You will not take another wife. Oh, boy, your case. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Look, you know how, how this thing is. Now, the press will be waiting. What did you get? And, and you know, this is not good for my reputation. Well, I have told them, go and do artificial insemination. Yeah, I, I've heard about that thing. I mean, I don't even know how effective it is. It's effective. Go and do it. Get yourself an air. What's wrong with you? Well, my answer is no. Okay. At least not now. I'll consider it later if the need arises. Well, your decision is your decision, do <laughs> Mm. Your decision. Oh, this is so good. Hey, babe. Mm. Oh, you're ready to go to work? Yes, I am. Baby, oh. mm? guess what? Oh. Just guess. What? Oh, mm. Sunita just called me now. She just put in bed to a baby boy. Oh my god! <laughs> I am so happy for her. Mm. I, I'll go and see her when I'm done. Yeah, when I'm done good. with everything I'm doing, I'll go and see her. Let me spread the news. Yeah, that's good. Uh, please, uh, something just crossed my mind there. Eh? Oh, you also want to go and see her? Uh, we can so go together. Uh, just, just a question. Eh? When will your own friends do? Start coming to your house to also congratulate you on your own child's birth. You know, I, have, I was just thinking about it. You know, be, be, because you are a woman too now, you not. And because sometimes I, you know, I'm not so sure. Eh? I, I mean, ah, 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 ah. why don't you just allow just small local? Don't even bother with international local shame, local one. Eh? That can be gotten anywhere around to just to just catch you a little, you know. Just let it catch you a little. Just embrace you just a little. Look at him. Ah, your friends are busy doing the so-called dirty business with ease, and, and and your own mission in life is to just be congratulating them up and down. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. That is all you are, you 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 have de dedicated yourself to doing. Commission now for congratulations. Commission now for congratulations. Oh, please go to work, I beg. Commission now for congratulations. Whatever. <laughs> so we should just be happy for the girl. Happy for who? Can't you just happy be happy for her? Happy, happy for you? Can't you just be happy for the news I just gave you? Can't be happy for you? We you. happy are not to eh? talk about our... Uh, uh, Can't I be happy for you? Can't I be happy for myself? The day swear for me that people should not be happy for me too. Hmm? Going up and down congratulating people. What is the problem? Is it a cause? Let, let's arrange deliverance for you. Uh -uh. Can you imagine? You, you cannot give birth to a child, Abby. Your friend is giving birth and you are happy. But you, you cannot do the dirty business. You... Small shame, just, a, just allow it once in a while. Entertain this small local shame to catch you. Shameless woman. Your friend is giving birth to a happy. You are going to greet her, you are celebrating with her. What is wrong? Why can't you get. Look! I won't allow you to spoil my mood today. I will not allow you to spoil my mood today. What is it? Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down, just hold it. What is all this now? 
Now, what's the point of all this sex that we're having? Something to show for it. I said, why don't you support me by giving this, this this marriage a child? I stop all this your attitude. You are the one that should look for a solution. Because I need proof that I married a woman and not a male purple tree. Okay, fine. Let's just go ahead with the adoption you suggested. It's fine. Let's do it. I am not going to adopt a 15-year-old child like you suggested. I will not! In fact, excuse me. If you cry, you want a child, you want a child. Then let's have a 15-year-old child, child. No, let me do it wrong. So, Sunita said you can do this job. I have done it on this several occasions. I just don't like being treated wrongly. I mean, some women will bring you in and still see you as a rival. I don't like such. No, it's fine. Um, let me make something clear to you that um, Gibson is my husband mm -hmm. and not our husband. Right? So I'm just bringing you in so you can help us with um, children and all because I can't do it myself. I think it's a dirty business. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. No problem at all. Um... I have not gotten my money yet. I mean, the up, upfront. No, it's fine. I'll do that before the end of today. Okay. So let me show you around. All right. <laughs> to your phone. Babe. Hey, babe. Welcome. Yeah, who's the young lady downstairs? Um, that's um, Sunita's cousin. Uh -huh. uh. And what is she doing here? You know, um, she, 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 she normally comes to to Lagos to help Sunita with um, some things, um, and it's so unfortunate that this time around, her mom and dad, um, siblings, and they are around, and the house is full. So Sunita begged for her to be here until they all leave. So, the baby should have consulted me before bringing a stranger into our house. Yes, I'm so sorry. It happened so fast. I, I was going to call you, but she's a nice girl. I know her. She's a very nice girl. Well, I hope she is. No, she is. And I hope their house clears up soon so she can go back. Don't want any problem. Yes, I hope so too. Because uh -huh. so, yeah. I, I don't so. all this kind of thing. I don't I'm fancy so, it. Sorry about that, baby. What is the meaning of this? Oh, Auntie said I should help with uh, making the bed. So I'm here to make the bed. And so what? So because you are coming to make the bed, that's why you are, you are dressed like this. Well, ah, can't you go and get something better to wear? What is it? Don't you realize there's a man in this house? Sir, I know, but... Uh, you know what? Please, hmm? go right now and remove this pain you are wearing and wear something decent. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself, just go. What exactly is going on in this house? No 
不了你狗的，是不是？咋意思？我是没有的事。不，我是啥意思啊 ？I told you that I I I wanted you to want change this this thing you are wearing and 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 then you are still wearing it and you are and you are asking me 啥意思啊？ Finish with the housework, then now bath and change everything. I did not bring many clothes on me. I'm sorry, sir. Mm. Anyway, where, where's my wife? She's in the kitchen. Oh, here she is. Hey, are you ready for what? Let me serve you breakfast. No, I, uh, I have a meeting with Chris before going to the office, and I'm already running late. Oh. Husband is harsh. Do you think this my seduction will work for him? Why won't it work? <laughs> Look, he's not harsh. He's just not happy. You need to see the way he scolded me to go and change these clothes I'm putting on. Huh? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Babe, just do what you have to do. You know why you're here, right? <laughs> We're already net. I just hope it works. Why won't it work? I paid you for it, so it has to work. What are you doing in my bathroom? Uh, sir, I think water is not running in my room. I think the pipe is blocked. So why didn't you report to me so that I can be repaired or, or use any of the other bathrooms downstairs? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean... Uh, it's okay. It's alright. Hmm? Just go. Eh? Go, go, go. Get out of here. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, wait. Wait, uh, you said you did not bring... Uh, Enough clothes or anything when you were coming. So I bought you some yesterday. There, there it is. Uh -huh. Oh. So thank you. Sir, oh, thank you so mm. much, sir. Mm. God bless you. Sir, mm. God bless you. Ah, you're a good man. Thank mm. you, sir. Uh, thank you for thanking me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. This one is a failure. No, you know how I'm, I'm, I'm very good. I mean, this guy is too hard. Yeah, so you spoke to him okay. and he agreed? I want you to know that you are saving a brother's life. Or no? Oh, well, I'll talk to you later, bro. Where is my wife? Um, she's in that room. Hey, babe, you're, you're back. How's your day? Hmm? When you're, um, move back, baby. Move back, move back. I want you to be at a good angle to see what I want to show you. Babe, is everything okay? Ah, it is not. <laughs> everything cannot be okay. Look at your friend's cousin. What's wrong with her? What's wrong? What is wrong with her? Uh, oh, so you, you do not see anything wrong with her? John, John, John. Are you okay? Yes, no. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, she, she, she's not okay. She's not okay. She used her to hit the ground. She's not. Is that what I'm asking? Um, in fact, hey, uh, Auntie. Uh, please, answer me this question. 
Is this how you dress in your village and your family? Don't you have clothes? What is this? Baby, come eh? on. This is just a normal houseware. Normal houseware? Yes. I told me I did not know. It's normal. Eh, hey, then why didn't you just be dressed naked? Yes, now, dressing is a kind of dressing, Garden of Eden Couture style. Why don't you just dress naked? I mean, since it's normal house in the dresser. My friend, will you, will you take out of your that, that, carry that, 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 go go upstairs and go go that, 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 and wear, wear some decent clothes. Look, see, 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 now, I can't, I can't even be looking at her as she's climbing the stairs. I can't look at her. What kind of rubbish is this? Baby, Can you imagine? Baby, come on. I think. What do you mean, come on? You're too hard on this girl. What do you mean, I'm too hard? If you are the one climbing the stairs, I can watch you up on the I can't. In fact, I'm, I'm having problems visually. Just, just looking at her going up. Can, can you, can, can you see what I'm talking about? I can't see because why can't you look at her? Why would you see? Why would you see? Why would you see? Eh? Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's like, eh? You are not understanding. That you are endangering this family by having this 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 girl in this house. Ha. You do not understand. You are endangering this family. How? You don't understand. How? How? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> What exactly is Sylvia's mission in this house? Hmm? And I don't want you to lie to me. I want you to tell me the bitter truth. I want to know. Gibson, Gibson, you, you know I love you. And, and I, I really want to make you happy. Eh, please. Please. That is not the answer to the question I'm asking. What is her mission in this house? Okay, okay, fine. Because of the love I have for you, Gibson. Okay, I brought her. I brought her to give us children. Huh? And Gibson, that's because I'm doing this for you. I, I just don't want to lose you. Um, <laughs> wait. If I heard you correctly, you brought another woman. In in fact, this one is my own woman. You brought another wife for me into my house without my consent? No. Gibbs, I, I'm, I'm paying her. Huh? She's on contract. I paid her to give us just two children. And, and after she gives us that, she can, she can go. She can leave while I bring um, a nanny to take care of, uh, of, of, of the children. Shock me to, in fact, to my bone marrow. Jesus. As in, do you realize that I could never, ever contemplate cheating on you? As in, it has never even crossed my mind. And here you are now introducing it to me by yourself. Just because of some, some selfish reason which, which, which you cannot even justify. I mean, how do you explain this? and have children, then why can't you? No, tell why can't you? Now, let me tell you something. I am not going to cheat or have children by another woman, okay? So you better get her, get her the hell out of my house. Get her out of my house. Nonsense. In fact, I'm not going up those stairs. I, I can't even, I'm not, get her, get her out of my house. Will you? Get her out of, get her. You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Okay. 
All right. Hmm. See the way she was as she was climbing stairs. One step, five inches. One step, five inches. And you're telling me there's nothing wrong with what she's wearing. For me to go, I'm... Well, I suspect it. On contract, born to. You should just make it born to and get home free. Nonsense. And what do we do now? I'm just as confused as you are. I can't think of any other way of talking to my husband about this. I think he loves you. Yes. A man who does not want to cheat on you is a nice man. You should revance your decision and give him children. I just cannot stand Gibson really being another woman because he finds me unattractive. I can't. You know how men behave. We'll just dump you in the house, turn you into a baby factory. Eh? And they will go out looking for, 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 for younger bloods. Forgetting the fact that you were once like the girls who were following outside. I can't stand it. Mm -mm. The Gibson I know and have tested will not do that. If he cannot do it in this kind of predicament, what do you think he will do it when he has responsibilities? Oh, Look, it's... you can always keep your man if you treat him better than any other woman he has met. Sunita said the same thing. But for me, I do not trust men and I'm not ready to make mistakes. You know better, but as far as I'm concerned, I think you should change your decision. I just need time to think of other means of talking to him about this. Hey baby, you're up. It's been 24 hours since we talked about Sylvia leaving this house, and yet she's still here. Uh, Why? But I thought... You changed your mind, though. Eh. Yes. And have you changed your mind about bearing children for me as a wife that I married? Please, I don't want to do this today. Not today. What, what have I done to you now? You don't know what you've done. I don't know. Very good. If you do not know what you have done, then that means I have been too phlegmatic about this matter. You don't know, right? Wait for me. You don't know what you have done. Do this one, no. Do that one, no. What do you want? I beg, I can't kill myself for you. I beg. I'll be giving somebody headache every day. Hey, hey, hey madam. Come, come, come. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanted to inform you hmm, that your services are no longer required. In fact, they were never even required. They were never needed in this house. Okay? So, first thing tomorrow morning, I am going to pay you off and I want you to carry your bag and baggages and get the hell out of my house. Is that okay? Uh, sir, I have done this for some men whose wives could not bear children for years. I don't get why you do not take this idea. Okay, I understand. Your braids are blocking your ears, Abby. You cannot hear what I'm saying. You are, you are not hearing me clearly. Eh? I said I don't need your... Look, take your dirty services to those men who need it. Is that understood? I don't need it! I'm sorry, sir. No, no, sorry for yourself. What are you sorry for? Why are you sorry? I said I don't need your services. Okay? So please, first thing in the morning, I want you out. And don't you ever come anywhere near my house again. Is that understood? Nonsense. Wait. Did you say you, you've been doing this for different men? Hey, this is my job now. My business. Pregnancy for different men. <laughs> it is well with your soul. <laughs> so you are a pregnantist? Hmm? Or a pregnantologist? That is the order to be pregnant in up and down. Hey, I don't need it. Thank you. Go. <laughs> Look, first thing in the morning. Nonsense. Huh? Carrying, 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 uh, packaging a party to be harassing somebody and giving somebody spiritual problem every day. Nonsense. 
Kirsten, I really don't understand what is wrong with you. Why don't you just agree and do this thing? Have you any shame at all? Eh? Do you have any shame? Why should I be? Why, 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 why should I have any shame? For something I cannot do and I brought in someone to do it for me. What is wrong with that? What do you think? No, I mean, do you, do you empl employ your brain in the process of thinking? Do you think at all? Is it not somebody that did the dirty job that gave back to you? And that's because she chose to do it. It's a decision thing. Beautiful. Abby. So let's see if you are just do this thing first. After you, you, you've been the one crying, you want kids, you want children. Now I've brought all to do it for me. You know, how, 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 why is that a problem now? No you can't just problem. have everything. Let me see how in this house tomorrow that you will know the kind of person I am. That she's not even ready to change her mind or her decision. Hmm. I think I have to try this artificial insemination I was talking about. But does it really work? I just have to try it. I, I need a baby I can call mine. A hundred thousand naira, okay? That's a hundred thousand naira check. I need it to get out of my hand before I come back. I must not meet you here. Now I don't know how much people agree on, but that you very well cover it, okay? I do not want to come back and have to repeat myself. Eh? Thank you. What's, what's going on? What happened? You told me to leave. Give me money. I tried. He told you to leave. Yes. He wanted so hard. Trust me, I tried. Sorry. I could not you do check. it. Yeah. Just, just change your mind. Give him kids. Give him kids. He's a good man. Come here. Hmm. has left. Oh. And um, where is your husband? That one left since morning, and I've been calling him. He's not been picking my calls. Babe, I just hope you are not losing your marriage. I don't understand you. Why should I? Why should I be losing my home for what? I just want him to understand me that I cannot breastfeed a child. I don't want my breast to sag or fall. Do you know what, Fiona? I seriously don't know how you came up with this decision. I would advise you think again. I mean, how can a woman call childbearing, which is the joy of every woman, a dirty job? Um, Sunita, I've discussed this before. I don't want to talk about it again. It's a dirty business and I cannot do it. You know what? The earlier you save your home, the better for you. Think about it again, my friend. It's okay. Um, just help me find a way out. Okay? Um, let's just hope for the unusual. Because I can't hear of a married man who doesn't want a child or wants it from another woman and still be with his wife for love alone. <sighs> Sunita, there's always a first time. Hmm? Huh? Then let's watch it unfold. You know what? I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. <sighs> what? Get to your sorted weak lane. Yeah. And how you let the woman rule your life? Look, look, we're talking about my family here. Okay? And if this is your plan, then guy, yeah, forget it. You know, I'm going to think that you are the problem behind your childless situation. Yeah. How have you been talking about you considering love, um, considering love, celebrating love with your wife? Mm -hmm. Thank you. See, let me tell you, I don't care what you think. So you understand? Ah, so, what is it? Child bearing, oh, 
Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Childbearing is a choice. Okay. And in fact, it, it even it imposes unnecessary expenses on mankind. Okay. I say I want to celebrate my wife. It is my wife, my family. If you want to manage your family, then go to Luxembourg and face yours. Babe, it's okay. Give me, give me, give me, my, my no, give me, I don't blame you, okay? Uh -uh. Believe me, this is the last time I will enter this house. Yes. The last time. Mm -hmm. It's better. It's better. It's better you don't enter again. Don't enter. Gibson. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Babe. Goodbye. Continue. You guys should enjoy the celebration of love. Thank you. Rubbish. In fact, the, the bye doesn't have to be good. If you like, let it be bad bye. Contaminated by the bye. Don't bye. It's okay. Imagine. I, I, I was telling him that, look. I want to celebrate love with my wife. I love my wife. That you know, life should not be about coercion, and that is where the problem started from. And it's coming to carry talking talking shoulder for me. Okay. Come, I'm not. Somebody be shouting here. All the time I should be using to show you affection. I, I'm, I'm I'm using the energy to be to be. Jealousy that is worrying me. Ah, is it by force? Give somebody advice. Must somebody take advice? I mean, I... Come, don't come back home! Oh. Ah, no, if, if I be considered. in the bathroom. As, as in, so this thing is real. Oh boy, I can't believe it. I swear. I can't. <laughs> okay, fine. Are you still in the office? Are you? Okay, you know what? I'm going to come see you. As in this, no. Oh boy, I'm going to come see you. I'm going to come. <laughs> this is great. I've changed my mind. I've decided to give you kids. I'm not 
much I just hope I am able to, 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 go, to go back to this my ship after after childbirth. Babe, don't even bother yourself. Hmm? See, even making me be pregnant self takes a lot of stress and energy. Which I don't think I'm even up to anymore as in a big Then you know why I even found out? Even after the woman has gotten pregnant, you still need to be making love to her. Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh! Mm. Ew, that's stressful. Stressful is an understatement. So, I don't have time for that. Hmm? Don't have the energy. So the best thing is for us to just celebrate her love. Do you understand? Mm. That's all that matters. Babe, I think that's what we should do because, see, even so many married couples, most of them are married without children. Mm. And, and, and imagine, they're okay. What if now we now decide, okay, we want to have kids now and we don't now have, what will happen? We now start jumping from pillar to post. That's IVFDs, Dr. D, mm -hmm. Dr. If it's just doctor, there should be good. We're going to pastor here, pastor there yeah, and everything. So let's just, I beg. Mm? Come here. Mm. Mm. for restoring this marriage to how it used to be. I mean, before the misconception we had. <laughs> That's okay. Do you remember my cousin's wife that I introduced to you sometime back? Uh, the pretty lady you said you toasted for your cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember her. Babe. You see her now? You see how ugly she is? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just cousin not taking good care of her. Well, you know he's an international businessman and lawyer. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. what's the problem? Child bearing. <laughs> you know they wedded some months before us. Mm-hmm. They have four children. What? I swear. Four. So? <laughs> but I swear they wanted to rush everything and now rest to it. You see the problem. <gasps> it's your style. Mm. Uh, you see. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding that I don't have to go through that stress. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Can you what is that for? It's okay. Mm? Thank you for opening my eyes to the fact that you can achieve one thing through so many different means. Mm? Such as our love. Exactly. And childbearing is just a decision and not a proof of love. Mm. I love you so much. Mm. Mm. This is really nice. No, oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Nothing. You're looking at me like that. I just want to watch you eat. You're on a dining table. <laughs> this is not a dining table look. You're looking like another look. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take your time. Mm? One out of the other. You better, better not start something else on this one. <laughs> let's, let's finish with this one first. Mm -hmm. ah, look, you know what? I, I think you've done enough already. Hmm? Have you closed from work? Okay. You know what? Let me just come see you tomorrow then we'll just talk about everything. <laughs> Have you forgotten that my cousin is my lawyer? Uh -huh. <clears throat> when they pay the money, I will sort all that one out. Hmm? You know what? Can we talk about this tomorrow? I need to attend to my wife. <laughs> now you shall be. All right. Well, who was that? Chris? <sighs> who else? Don't mind him. I'll talk to him later. You know, he's uh, talking about uh, a property that we're about to sell. So you guys, you guys are still talking? I may just leave Chris alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Now, <clears throat> do something for me. What? What? Good. I need you to close your eyes. 
Just close your eyes. You like analyzing <laughs> things. Just close your eyes, please. Please. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> close your eyes, very, very. Is, is there a flight trying to enter your eye? Yeah, close your eyes. No cheating. Okay, okay, okay. Don't open it though. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm watching you. I know. Uh -huh. I, I, what's going on? Just close it. Close it. Keep it closed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Close it. Uh -huh. <clears throat> now, open sesame. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Baby! Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Take it easy. Take it easy. Now, <clears throat> this is for you quite all right. Hmm? Okay. But you are not allowed to open it until our fourth wedding anniversary. I just want to see what's inside. No, 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 no. You will. You will. You will. But not now. Hmm? And besides, our wedding anniversary is in two days' time now. So just chill. Hmm? Now, <clears throat> this is the condition. Yes, there's a condition. Now, when you do open this in two days' time, mm -hmm. when you see what is inside, okay. you need to promise me that after that, you just go straight and prepare my favorite meal. I promise. You promise? Hey. Are you sure? <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you. Now I'm keeping this for you. Okay. Mm. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Sit down, okay, sit down, sit right. down, okay. sit down, sit down. Okay. Uh -huh. Back me. And if you go and start searching inside that room, I'll get you. Hmm? Don't look back. Ah, ah, <laughs> don't look back. You won't even find it where I'm going to keep it. Okay. Don't even bother yourself. <laughs> you are very good at hiding things. <laughs> it's not fair. How can you call me alone without my godson? It's not fair. I beg, I beg. He's at home with his father. And then you decided to stop by alone. I'll be now. You know I've missed you. <laughs> my friend, my friend. <laughs> I remember those single old days. I did tell you. Um, why is your husband? Did he go to work? No. He's upstairs. He went to bring his friend's baby. Mm -hmm. And he was like, babe, I'd just like to know what it feels like to have a baby around since we decided not to have one. And I'm like, go ahead, babe. It's, it's fine. Wow. <laughs> wow. I see. So, how has that been with him? With him and also with me, it's not been easy. Like, the small boy has been pulling everywhere. He put on me, even peed on me, and also on my husband. And he's enjoying it. I don't even understand, of course. You know, my dear, you tried, though. How? Oh. How you made your husband succumb to your decision is still magical to me. Mm. Like, seriously, that means your husband is second to none. Ah, uh, babe, that matter. Men. <laughs> that matter has been long forgotten in my house. I can't even remember the last time we discussed childbearing in my house. Nah. Long gone. <laughs> wow. Man, babe, I salute you. I might make I give you three bosa. Oh, yeah, take it. Three bosa. 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 Kai! Not too much. Oh, good. is going to be a mad girl. <laughs> that's the baby. That's the baby. That's the baby. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's sleeping. Hi, dear. Long time. Very fine. Ah, what happened? You didn't uh, entertain your friend with drinks or anything? anything. Oh. She's watching her weight. Jesus. Her weight indeed. Jesus. <laughs> so. uh, anyway, um, there you are. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, you remember what I said? Oh yeah, that I prepare your favorite meal. Once you open it. Yes. So mm. I'll see you. Let me return princess to Ramon. Okay. All right. Okay, take care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take care. Ah, of course. It's our fourth year. Wow, nice. Babe, thank you. Wow. <laughs> He's such a sweetheart. Oh, yes. He got me this for our fourth year anniversary. Wow. <laughs> I beg, I beg, open it. What? Open, let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. Love is sweet, though. <laughs> Money, I don't know. Like, <laughs> open it fast. I'm opening it now. Ah. I don't know what I did to deserve this money. God, ah. I guess it's a restore. It's bigger than that. Ah. 
Now maybe him. Mm. Oh, this man. This man like playing games, huh? trust you to know that the baby I brought in today is my son. I got him through artificial insemination and I am happy that finally I am being called a father. Well, as you are reading this now, I am already at the airport, traveling to a place where my son can have the best of life. But I have no regrets because I made my decision on time. Goodbye, my ex-wife. Much love. <laughs> I told you this. No man in this country will accept such a decision. 